I got on one lash. I got rained on. But hear me out. Y'all always saying pick me, pick me. But I could tell who was raised by size. Let's really talk about this. A lot of you women were raised by bitches who were side bitches. So a lot of the that y'all think is okay or think is cool, y'all seen y'all mama do, but you don't know your mama or your grandma was a side bitch, so you think it's cool. Like, let me elaborate. You calling me a pick me because I spoke on some shit that y'all bitch know it's true, but because I'm a woman and I said it and I'm supposed to have like, I guess it's woman code, y'all got a problem. This sister right here was going back and forth with the rebels on TikTok calling her pick me you know the usual saying all these things about her because they didn't like her opinion she was like i don't care what y'all talking about she said what she said most of you have an issue with women like her who tell you the truth about your situations specifically your relationships you have a problem and can't understand what we're saying because so many of you were raised by side chicks and 304s you have been programmed to think just like them and that's why you can't stand women who tell you the truth Women who are telling you the opposite of what you learned from your 304 mothers and even some of your grandmothers. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. Y'all always saying pick me, pick me, but I could tell who was raised by side. Let's really talk about this. A lot of you women were raised by bitches who were side bitches. So a lot of the that y'all think is okay or think is cool, y'all seen y'all mama do, but you don't know your mama or your grandma was a side bitch. Or you think it's cool like let me elaborate you calling me a pick me because i spoke on some shit that y'all bitch know it's true but because i'm a woman and i said it and i'm supposed to have like i guess it's woman code y'all got a problem i don't even like you bitch i don't give a f if i'm a woman i don't like y'all and i'm gonna tell you why i don't like y'all i don't like y'all because like this y'all never honest with y'all that's why a lot of y'all go through a lot of the problems y'all have and a lot of the emotional support that y'all need is because of y'all because y'all don't f honest with yourselves and that's true. The reason why the sisterhood doesn't exist is because there's no foundation. It's all built on lies. The first lie is that they love each other. When we all know that most of these women talking this female empowerment stuff, they can't stand each other. For instance, I remember when Coach Stormy Wellington was dating that pookie baby daddy with like seven, eight children. And one of his baby mamas came out talking about this elaborate scam and fraud that went on that was all uncovered and discussed in this video right here. If you want to check it out, the link is below. You can watch it after this lesson. But I remember Coach Stormy's response being, and so what? What does that have to do with me? She didn't care that she was charging women $15,000 to go to these female empowerment events and then using the money to pay his child support. She didn't care at all. All she wanted to do is use the false pretense of the sisterhood and female empowerment and female positivity, which is really nothing positive about it. It's just a mean girl convention, using those funds to support her pooky boyfriend. Yeah, cared nothing about a sisterhood. Her answer was, what does that have to do with me? So yeah, there is no sisterhood. It's just a group of people who come together and lie to each other and acting like they're pushing each other forward when in reality, they're holding each other back and spreading the failure so they're not alone. Literally, and y'all bitch done nothing but prove my point. And then y'all bitch always talk about, pick me, pick me, bitch, your mama wasn't picked. That's why you think the way that you do. You've never had a real male figure in your life to really be real with you and tell you how men really think. Y'all be listening to these little boys that y'all think is y'all friends for real. And these you just be trying to fuck y'all. Yeah, and the so-called guys they have around, those are just the simps who don't want to tell them the truth because they don't want to mess up the chance of sleeping with them. But they have no solid men around them. So they're only getting information from 304s, your average feminist, your average misandrist. And then they go around spreading all of it like cancer and repeating the cycle generation after generation. Mother and the daughter, they want to bond. Yeah, because then y'all can talk about something. Yeah. So when I start yeah, yeah. I'm not taking shots for certain questions. I'm like, what? Yeah. And that's I've heard against my mom and she kept saying, I'm like, bro. You better go find you a man and like to do some things. Let me tell you. I <laughs> I was like, she can't keep thinking about why I took that shot. I'm like, Manai, who was that person? Who was that person? But she played with me. I think it's a great game for kids and their mama to play together. <laughs> Especially when you and your mama are close in age, like how we are. Yeah. I yeah. think it's cute. I think it's cute. Yeah, and they always think it's cute. Just like that woman who recently went viral, who was wearing a bikini thong bathing suit, and she dressed up her infant daughter in a matching suit. Shout out to the sister who sent that in to me. It was just disgusting. Like, why would you do that? People like her should be locked up. But they think it's cute. 
just like Coach Stormy and Young Miami right now, they're thinking it's cute for daughters and mothers to bond with each other over drinking games where they're supposed to learn and trade explicit stuff with each other. That's crazy. You could tell who these women were raised by. They want to bond with their mothers and daughters over 304 stuff. So yeah, that TikTok sister, she is absolutely right. They don't tell you how men really think about y'all. What y'all be doing? That dumb ass going back to niggas every single time they f you over or always calling these niggas y'all business and advice. They be cooking y'all behind the scenes. Like I said, a lot of you bitches were raised by side bitches. Bitches that wanted to be picked. So y'all think what y'all doing is okay. And I bet you if you go in the room right now and look at your mama and see how her life turned out, you're going to listen to what I said and know that I'm right. My relationship with womanhood is not weird at all. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Y'all are so mad that I'm not on here bashing men when it's obvious men we see every day what the f they are. Like we don't have to keep talking about this. Shit. We have enough eyes. We have enough books. We have enough movies. We have the f internet. We have babies. Like we know how men are. We see this shit every day. But there's nobody out here getting on y'all women because every f woman that starts something that's a movement just going with it and thinking that it's cool like i don't care what you do with your body i don't care how many kids you have i don't care who you sleep with none of that but the things that y'all do and we do to each other is terrible and nobody talks about that every time you go on social media you see these platforms flooded with misandry and feminism talking points you can't even watch a movie or tv show without the rhetoric being sprinkled throughout the show all designed to program all of us you turn on the radio and then you have to turn it off. If it's not the music, it's the host, the conversations they're having, or the commercials. Everywhere you go, men are being emasculated or they're being made to look like they're bad people. And women are propped up as smarter angels who never did anything and even when they do wrong, it's still never their fault. They always have to share the blame with someone else or completely put it on somebody else. That's because modern women hate accountability. Other women are trying to stay on code. Then they have men lying and taking up for them as well because something about them reminds them of their 304 mama. You could tell the women and men raised by 304s. They never want to hold women accountable at all because that means they would have to look at their mama and come to terms that she really wasn't. You know what? Y'all not ready for this. Immediately when a woman says something about another woman, everybody want to say, pick me, pick me. It's always be half and half. It's half of the women that's conscious of what they do to each other and when they actually take accountability for the stuff that they do as well. Even myself, I'm on that side. But the side that I'm not on is you delusional. You want to sit up here and act like y'all just so perfect and y'all really be terrible beings, terrible mothers, and really just terrible people in general. And not only that, the reason y'all think I'm so terrible is because y'all have had mothers and people in your life that have enabled y'all to not take accountability for your actions and you don't realize how you have to be comfortable with yourself to acknowledge when you're wrong. And y'all don't do that. Everything is everybody else's fault. You get the action of your problem. Such and such did this. They did this to me. So where you fall into the category? Don't you live in your body? So like I said, be for real. Y'all be on here trying to sound so smart and be sounding so fucking dumb. Just be quiet, cause y'all not gonna win. <laughs> When women like her tell them the truth, they get so angry. And this is on TikTok where they can easily click off her video and go hear what they want to hear. But they want to argue with her instead because the game is to make all the women get in line with them. Their goal is to convert every soul until all the women, all the men are going along with this feminism crap. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Shout out to Judas Lion. I appreciate you for all of your support for the channel. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.